Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and today I'm going to show you how I maintain all things microfiber, including wash mitts, polishing pads, applicators, and cloths. It all starts in the back of the van. I use a very simple method of storing used items in three bags. One bag holds the less dirty items, the second bag holds medium soiled, and the third bag holds heavily soiled. This method avoids cross-contamination from let's say engine bay rags and plush wax removal towels. With all items already itemized, it's off to the washroom we go. I'll wipe down the work surface to avoid any unnecessary cross-contamination before emptying bag number one, usually drying towels, wax removal towels, and the odd plush polishing towel. For a full load, I'll use a brimmed cap of Fairy Non-Bio. Set the machine to 30 degrees and no higher, then put the machine on a basic wash cycle. Microfiber is an incredibly delicate material and anything over 30 degrees will melt to the individual fibres, making the towels utterly useless with a very short lifespan. When the first load is done, the items will go outside to air dry if it's a nice day or on a clothes rack inside if it isn't. First load done and on their way to drying, I'll load up the second lot with medium soiled items. Often microfiber is used for interior and exterior cleaning in the slightly grubbier jobs. For a brimmed load, I'll use one full cap of Fairy Non Bio. Set the machine to 30 degrees for the basic wash cycle and again once complete, air dry outside or on the clothes rack inside. The third wash cycle is for heavily soiled items, often towels used for engine bays or extremely grubby jobs. Again, a wash cycle of 30 degrees, never any higher, even for these filthy items, then dry outside or on a clothes rack inside. Microfiber wash mitts are always hand cleaned using Fairy Non Bio. I found hand washing is just as effective as machine washing, but they tend to last longer and remain plush for longer when hand washed. The wash mitts have their own drying radiator in the wash room. All other polishing pads and applicators are hand cleaned. In regards to the rupees pads, do not put these in the washing machine. They will disintegrate and leave bits of foam in all other items that are in the same wash cycle, making every last item put in the washing machine with them only worthy of the bin. What I do for these is fill the wash basin with hot water and add a cap of Fairy Non Bio. Leave items submerged for 30 minutes before returning and cleaning by hand. A mixture of massaging all the polish out and folding the pads to rinse until the water is clear. I'll repeat this process for all accessories. Once the first wash is done, I'll then individually soak each item with fresh water and rinse until clear. Hang outside or on the clothing rack inside to dry. Everything now clean and dry, I'll quality check each item and put them into their categories. I will try to keep each category together throughout the whole wash process, but it isn't an exact science, because they will be quality checked prior to going back into their appropriate categories. Obviously wash mitts and drying towels are kept separate, so I'll check for any bits of debris and if all is good, fold them up neatly.
plush polishing of wax removal towels, again checking for any bits of debris. The pile I'm currently creating on the left are pristine towels to be used on paint or delicate surfaces. The pile on the right are grade 2 towels to be used for general cleaning purposes. Pile on the far right are grade 3 towels to be used on the grubby areas. Applicators are sorted into their own pile and quality checked. When all items are categorised, they are put back in the van into their own drawers. I did a van tour video a few months ago, so if you want to see how I organise each item in the van, I've put a link in this video's description. In short, I have three categories. Grades 1 are pristine for paintwork and delicate surfaces. Grade 2 are general purpose cleaning and Grade 3 are for the heavy duties. Often a towel will start as Grade 1 and as it becomes used it will go down through the ranks before finished off with a hefty cleaning duty. Something I've recently been doing is topping up the Fairy non-bio with 50ml of white vinegar. This is done for towels that are starting to show signs of losing their softness and so far I'm pretty sure the white vinegar is helping them to go soft again. Only a temporary cure but this should allow a few extra wash cycles for most towels as long as they haven't gone past the point of no return. I hope this video has given you a few tips for maintaining your own microfibers and accessories. If you have any thoughts or suggestions please drop them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Drop the video a like and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. We'll